Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, it's been a hot minute since I've reviewed a ColourPop collection. You guys know they have a lot of releases and quite honestly, I just haven't been able to keep up. But this is the first collection in a while that I really, really actually wanted to get up for you guys as quick as I could. So this is the ColourPop and Rudolph collaboration. I just thought it was so cute. It gave me Christmas. Christmas vibes. I mean, honestly though, recently ColourPop has had a lot of good collection. The Nightmare Before Christmas was really good. The Lucky Penny was really good. There's a few new collections that I have that I haven't talked about yet that are awesome. But I got this in a timely manner, so I thought I would review it because it's actually launching slash launched today. So I'm filming this in the morning of, and I'm not sure when this will be up today but i'm really excited about this so if you are super into christmas and are looking for a fun christmas gift this one is a good one well i haven't tried it but it's a fun one at the very least so let's get into it Just so you know, this was gifted to me in PR by ColourPop and I do not have the prices unfortunately because it hasn't launched at the moment that I'm filming it. But look at this, so cute. The box that it came in, I love it. So if you purchase this whole collection, you'll most likely get this box. Let's go over what was in the collection and let's be honest here, this is my favorite part. We have two hair clips. I'm just gonna put them on. <laughs> I love it. Huh. Normally you are able to buy these ac accessories, so I'm going to... Um, so cute. I think I need to wear these every video <laughs> until Christmas. It's things like these that make me miss teaching. <laughs> My students would have loved this. We have these. Big fan. Really excited about this. Let's get into the actual makeup and stuff that you're probably really interested in. It's a decent sized collection, but it's not overwhelming like some of ColourPop's largest collection. So we have the eyeshadow palette first. This is Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Pressed Powder Palette. So you can see how the box is. Take a closer look at the packaging here. And then we have a relatively Kind of neutral, but you can definitely see it's very Christmassy, holiday based palette. Excited to swatch this. From Soul Body, we have the Jingle 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 Shimmering Body Powder, which I, for this demo, am going to use this on my face because my decolletage is not currently available. So here's what the packaging looks like on this. And here is the powder. We also have a lip scrub. So this is the Rudolph Lippy Scrub and then a lip mask. And you can actually keep this and use them as ornaments. So here's what the lippy scrub's going to look like. And then the lip mask has a little bit of a pink tint to it. Honestly, you guys, I'm not gonna open these or try them because I feel like ColourPop comes out with so many lip masks and lip scrubs in their collections. I have so many. So I'm actually going to probably gift these to somebody. They are super cute though, and who doesn't love a lip scrub or lip mask? But it just would be a waste if I opened them and used them, you know? Then we have the couple of misfits gloss trio and these look like they're going to be sheer they remind me a lot of the hello kitty collection set these are the items that i'm probably the most excited about we have two lip sets so they come with a lip pencil and a luxe lipstick first of all the packaging is red glittery so this is there's always tomorrow so it looks like we're gonna have a nice dark deep red lip and look at this packaging, glittery. And then the other one is a nude, let me pull that out. This one also has the same packaging. And for some reason mine got smushed on the top, but I mean, this is my kind of color, so I'm excited <laughs> about that. Anywho, let's, let's get into the review. Oh, no, one more item. The last item is a Mega Mood Melt. This is in Humble Bumble. So this is a bath product. Oh, I need to take a bath. It smells kind of soapy, like really, really soapy. Not a scent that I'm personally into, but this is also in the collection and obviously I will be not be testing it. Okay, let's get into the makeups. 
Of course, we are going to start off with the palette. I'm going to turn the light down just a little bit so you can get a closer look at the details of the palette. Super cute, very Christmassy. Here is the mirror, and here is the actual color story itself. Honestly, this is like neutral but different. I really like this color story. I think, you know, I feel comfortable with it, but there are some unique tones in here even for ColourPop. Am I crazy for thinking that? Because you know how ColourPop's super repetitive? This is like neutral but with some spice, you know what I mean? Let me swatch it really quickly. So here are the swatches of the palette. You can see the swatches are pretty good. I don't see too much skipping. I didn't have to press too hard to get good swatches. The shimmers do seem a little eh, a little bit drier than I personally prefer. But for the most part, everything swatched really good. And like I said, it's like a boring palette, but a little bit spicy. I like how we have some plummier neutrals. Of course, we have those greens that are very in, some reddish tones. Really Christmassy. I don't know. I mean, you can, I like this. I do, I do, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go off and do this eye and I will be right back. Super fun and Christmassy. I'm excited to show you how I did it. Isom V34, we're doing independent together. This is more of like a peachy. I think ideally I wanted my crease to be like a true red, but there really isn't a true red. So I had to like build and blend and compromise a bit, but it's fine. So this is going to be our transition shade as well as the base shade for our lower lash line. To make it more red, we're going in with Handsome Nose. I'm taking an Isom V33. Make sure you tap off the excess because it is a shimmer. You don't wanna to get too much fallout, but it works fine in the crease. So don't worry, I do think you should put a matte down first as the base just to feel a little bit more comfortable. I find that it makes helps the eyelids not look too creasy but I did want to put this shimmer in the crease just to really redden up this look right here. And I'm going to put this along the outer half of my lower lash line, just like so. With an Olimar Cosmetics crease brush, we're going into full power. This is a little bit more plum as opposed to red, but it's going to help give us some depth for our cut crease to make it stand out more. So I'm starting by blending this in the outer V, and then I'm bringing it in towards the inner corner so that it's gonna be darker where the cut crease is. And then the outer half of the lower lash line, you're building the depth. Feel free to go back in with Handsome Nose, which is the reddish shade on top to keep it more of a true red. Sonia G Soft Definer, we're going into Ready Santa. So this is a warmer dark brown and I'm just popping it right in the outer corner and the lower lash line's outer corner. And the sole purpose of this is just for depth. And then again, just a little bit into the crease, just like that. Okay, I'm blending the look a little bit outward because I feel like that's what is flattering for my eye shape. And if it's a little messy, we will come back to it. But I'm going to use my Kaleidos Tone Activator and a Luxie 246 brush. I'm going to create the cut crease. With a rougher 28 brush, we're going to go into the lightest shade, which is North Pole. So I'm going to start off by putting just a little bit underneath the brow bone. And then I'm going to use that same color. And this is going to be the inner corner, almost like an inner quarter color of the cut crease. Honestly, for Christmas or the holidays, this would be fun to have as the all over lid color, but I did want to play with more than just this shade. But how pretty is it? Same brush, we're going in with e.l.f. Practice. This one I kind of wish had a little bit more depth to it, because you can see how white based this is. I wish it was a little bit more of a true green, because we do already have this light white shimmer. But the shimmers in this palette are pretty good. Like I said, they're a bit drier than I prefer for a formula, but I'm not getting too much fallout. I do have to build a little bit to get the color and the opacity and for it to look really even on the eyelid, but it's still really good. I mean, ColourPop for the price tends to have nice quality. I'm not mad at this. I'm gonna add a pop of warmth with lots of tinsel, and I'm just gonna kind of pop this almost at the center base of the eyelid and then blend it up. I just wanted this warmth to help start the bridge out to the red outer corner. 
So this is just to really help blend the look and I really do think it adds a nice touch. Like you see that little pop right there? I think it looks super cute. And to get this smooth transition, I'm gonna start going in with a little bit of Handsome Nose out in the outer corner. You see that shade right there did all of the work for the blending. It virtually is seamless now, but to keep it cohesive. Now we're going into full power. I'm gonna focus this in the outer corner and then a little bit of Ready Santa. Just whatever it takes to get that seamless blend, you know? And then the final step and we're done, I'm going back into the e.l.f. practice, which is the shimmery green. I'm just using a Morphe pencil brush and I'm putting this on the inner third of the lower lash line to tie that pop of green in with the top of the lid. Then I'm taking the brush that I used to cut crease and I'm cleaning up right here. And boom, here is the final look. I'm gonna do liner and lashes and we will use the rest of the products. Okay, so liner and lashes are on. Oh, what a fun look, I love it. So we are gonna go on, this is from the Soul line. This is the Jingle 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 Shimmering Body Powder. So you can put this all over your body. For today's sake, we're gonna put it on my face. <laughs> So here's what the packaging looks like. It's a typical soul packaging, but it's red and obviously it has reindeers on it. Oh, this is getting me so excited for Christmas. Magical time of year. I love it. My favorite time. Uh, but anyways, here's what the powder looks like. And it has more of like a pinky gold shift in person. It actually pulls quite pink, but you can see it has that iciness to it. So let's try it on. I'm going to use a blinged brush F17. Let's see. It's been a while since I've used this formula. It's nice, there are a little bit of glitters in it, I feel like. You know, it doesn't look necessarily like it's blending into the skin. Not my favorite highlight, but in some cases, it's just like, you know, a highlight is a highlight. I would say the only reason to get it is because you absolutely love the Christmas and Rudolph the Reindeer, but the highlight itself isn't all that. So I feel like if you're considering anything from this collection, you can pass on this, but it's like fine. I mean, you can see it's not sitting the prettiest on my skin. It doesn't look smooth like I would like it to. But from a distance, it does highlight. Low key, I think these are some of my favorite things in this collection. Like obviously I was excited for the eyeshadow palette. When am I not excited by the eyeshadow palette? I love these lip duos. So we'll do I think you're cute first. This is what the packaging looks like. I wish they put like a to and from. I feel like that would've been cute. <laughs> but here is the packaging. This looks cheap, I'm not gonna lie, but it is cheap, so it's okay. So I like the tacky red glitters, I do. I mean, this is my kind of lip color. Remember, for some reason, it got smooshed in the cap, but the lipstick, which I love the ColourPop lipstick formula, has some snowflakes embossed in there. What a pretty cool nude. Wow, I really like this color. If you have a deeper complexion, it's not gonna give you depth. Oh, look at this, creamy lipstick. This feels so high quality, in my opinion. It even feels smoother than a lot of other Luxe lipsticks that I have. Mmm, I love this lip color. Oh my goodness. This is like a legitimate gorgeous, gorgeous lip color. Oh my gosh, honestly this lip kit might be my favorite thing that they have in this collection, seriously. I like this color more than the eyeshadow palette. Okay, sadly we have to take it off though. So I do have another kit right here. So this is There's Always Tomorrow. This is going to be the deeper color. Same packaging, here's the lip. Honestly, it's more berry than I thought it was because it looks pretty dark in the tube, as you can see. I was thinking it was gonna be more deep, but it's more sheer and has more berryness to it, which, mm, uh, mm. I thought they would have more of like a true red lip for Rudolph's nose, right? Anyways, let's just apply it. Luckily, I have the brush that I use for my cut crease. I'm gonna use that to clean everything up. Then let's put on the lipstick. So the lip liner is definitely a little bit more pinky berry. The lipstick does have more of a true red to it, but it still has that little tinge of berryness. 
Honestly, it's been a while since I've tried a new ColourPop Looks lipstick. I feel like they've improved their formulas so much. This is so comfortable, so smooth. This is a pretty color. It really is. I do like this lip color though. It's a pretty lip color. Okay, let's get into the final product of this collection, which is going to be the Couple of Misfits Lux Gloss Trio. And I want to see if these have some pigment to them. The packaging is really cute. But if they're anything like the Lux Gloss Trios I've had in the past, I'm expecting them to be on the sheer side. So let's see. So here are the three colors that we have. Let me swatch them for you. So we're going to start off with Hermie. Now this one obviously is going to be clear. I'm not personally a big fan of these glitter glosses from ColourPop. They almost like dry my lips in an odd way. And we have Misfit Elephant, which is a little bit more warm. Yep, see, really clear. And then finally we have Dolly, which is the brightest color. But again, really sheer. You know, on the lips, these aren't going to look too different. Obviously, the darkest color and the lightest color would show the most on the lips. They're really not that different, you know? I'm gonna put on Dolly. Hmm, they do smell quite delightful though. It's a positive application experience. It's pretty. I can definitely feel the glitters on my lips. I don't know, it's not my favorite lip gloss formula, honestly. It's a bit redundant, you're getting three clear lip glosses. So unless you're purchasing this for the theme or for the packaging, the formulas themselves, in my opinion, aren't worth it. So I'm gonna collect myself and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. So here is the final look that we pulled together. Definitely very Christmassy. I'm not ready yet though. We need to get to Thanksgiving. I'm still in warm toned mode for that, but Mm, I really do love the look that I created. So overall, I really do like this collection. I think it's a hit. And this is coming from somebody who's a little fatigued from ColourPop collections. Definitely like the eyeshadow palettes. I think it's a fun play on neutral shades. The quality is typical ColourPop quality. You know, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good, especially for the price. The look that I created was pretty easy. The mattes blended nice. The shimmers are pretty. You do need to build them up a little bit and just be careful because they're a little bit drier, so they can get messy, especially if you over blend them but overall solid palette from ColourPop like it the highlight pass on this I don't necessarily think you need it it's not that pretty on the face unless you like that pinky glow on the body I don't know you have to love this formula to enjoy this but for me this is a pass it just doesn't look as smooth on my face as I would like the lip duos you know I'm gonna say these are definitely a hit highly recommend these these are arguably my favorite parts of the collection like I feel like you should get the eyeshadow palette if you're interested because it's fun it's cute whatever but in terms of like what I would actually use the, mo the most I would actually dig into these lip kits a lot because I love the colors particularly I think you're cute if you like cooler nudes like me I think your cute is awesome and there's always tomorrow I mean it's a pretty juicy red lip I'm not mad at it at all I don't normally wear colors like these but even the gloss on top mmm but I will say, the couple of Misfits gloss trio, this is a miss for me. I don't really think you need it. It's just three shades of clear glittery gloss. The gloss is fine. I like it on my lips now, but you have a lot of other glosses in your collection most likely. So quality wise, this just isn't a standout product to me. If you can get these antlers, they are so cute favorite part of the collection here and like I said I did not try the lip mask and lip scrub just because I didn't need to but ColourPop does have a really good formula and then they have that bath bomb which I haven't tried so overall I am very pleased with this collection I'm very happy I decided to review it because I had a lot of fun with it what a great opportunity to get you into the holiday mood so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me I hope you enjoyed it if you aren't yet subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so I will see you all in the next one bye guys have a good one.